Actually, I thought once I film the process, I'll just blur out whatever looks rude. Right. And I don't keep my shell pants in my sleeping bag. Because that doesn't do any good. But I do keep my inner pants in my sleeping bag. And every time I take something out, I put my foot right back in the sleeping bag. Just put the there's no snow on the shell pants. Jam them somewhere intelligent. Pants. Are these insulated guide pants. <laughs> Cats meow. And then the worst part, it's getting off my wet socks and switching over. Whew. Oh, that's kind of weird. Switching over my wet socks. Yeah. For the dry socks. Oh, <laughs> oh boy. Have your socks ready. Oh, and double check all your toes. Make sure there's nothing going on bad with your toes there. Because if you have toe problems, you're gonna have a problem. Woo. Just double check any foot fungus or hangnails. Just take a quick look. You save yourself a lot of trouble because since it's in the morning, you're gonna want to get going. But in the evening, you can kind of mess around a little bit. Figure that out. Now let's put my socks on before I put the long underwear on. So when I put my long underwear on, it pulls my socks up rather than having to fight with the long underwear. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh. Oh, yeah. oh boy. Feet in cold. Put the down booties back on as immediately as possible. As awkward as this is, because my legs aren't cold. But boy, if my feet get cold, it is curtains. I set this oh. up. I literally. Oh, yeah. What I do with my socks is I take them out, set them out here. Get the socks prepped. What I do is I put them together just at the calf cuff here. Right here, the calf cuff. I guess that's the official name, right? Okay, and then I just keep these in my sleeping bag down in the leg zone to uh, make sure they dry overnight. And I make sure my pants are not bundled up. I stretch them all the way out for the length. Oh, it's cold. <laughs> Get that bag zipped up, bad boy. Okay. Socks are in here. Got my water bottle. Now comes the cold part. I'm zipping the jackets. I'm getting the shirt on. <laughs> oh dear lord. Now that I don't have any more Velcro problems, I get my liner gloves back on. Which, <laughs> got my liner gloves in my jacket the whole time. So they are warm, I knew where they were. I'm ready to go to keep my skin from being exposed. And keep my exp skin exposure down to the bare minimum. That prevents the cracks. I've had horrible problems with that over time. And the shell jacket never goes in the sleeping bag with me. That's uh, kind of worthless. My fleece jacket. <sighs> so instead of trying to pull off one arm and pull off the other, here's another trick. Instead of trying to wriggle out of one arm or nothing, or something, whatever it is, 
just pull it over like the hockey maneuver. Yeah, it kind of went dark, sorry. Let's see. Yeah, pull the jacket over like the hockey maneuver, and then, like you're gonna get into a hockey fight, and then it is so much easier to get your jacket off. Instead of wriggling around trying to get your elbow done, just flip. It's so easy to get your jacket off that way. Super nice technique. Oh. Then take the down puffy off. Make sure its pockets are zipped up so I don't get damaged and again. I'll take my yeah, this guy off. But again, I don't fight with it. I just pull it over. And uh, just like that. It's super easy. <laughs> oh yeah. Anything to reduce the punishment now. The down jacket I can put on my sleeping bag because it's not going to compress it at all. So I do that. And that is totally valid. Oh, it's going to get a little chilly, bad boys. We need to put this up for a minute so we can actually see what's going on. Let's see. There we go. Oops, turn on the spotlight. Oh, there we go. That's a bed. Okay, and this is the cold part. Oh. Oh. Take everything apart so it dries as much as possible. I guess I should probably blur this out. I don't know. Oh, I say man chest. I'm definitely not the uh, uh, Fabio to be on the cover of a romance novel, although I don't do too badly for my age. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna put on my chilly shirt. Oh, keeping moving as efficiently as possible without damaging anything. Ah, oh, yeah, baby. Come on. Oh. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. Ah. Ah. And now I line up my shirt. I do not wrinkle it up, but I keep it away from the zipper side. That way it doesn't fall out in the night. And then my little midweight synthetic. This is from the Wirt Hotel. Very nice. It's a wonderful hotel in Jackson Hole. Oh yeah. And now, I've got my fleece jacket set up as my pillow. I've got my tea bottle ready. Ah, let's see. So just as well without flopping the camera. Don't damage the camera. Ah. Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> I'm not going to leave my headlamp up there, so when I sleep, instead of putting my headlamp somewhere, never do that. Instead, what you do, save yourself a lot of heartache, is instead of setting it somewhere, simply drop it around your neck. And then at night, you 100% know where your headlamp is, and you have no problems. Just put it around your neck. Sometimes you get choked out, but it's better than digging 10 minutes, especially when you got to use the... Oh, the toilet. Whew. Boy, so. I'm gonna do that and. Uh, oh. Stop blabbing here. Get myself comfortable. Uh, and keep my water bottles. Double check those bad boys. Make sure they're not leaking. Make sure my sippy bottle is not leaking. Oh. Oh, crud. Okay, got a little bit snagged, of course. Uh oh, there we go. Take a sip of water. Put that in the snow. Be very careful. Try the threads off. Seal it up. 
turn it sideways and check every time. If you don't check every time, you'll have a leaking bottle in the middle of the night and you will regret it. And then I also keep my main bottle in a waterproof silicone nylon bag. Just uh, closed up there so in case it does have somewhat of a leak, I can contain it and I put that between my legs. Put the sippy cup. Oh, I literally in my 40s and I literally have a sippy cup. Oh, that hurt my head. And then, simply zip up the sleeping bag. Oh, yeah, where is it? Where is it? <laughs> and then, I apply the most powerful hat in the universe. Oh. Oh boy, it's like the moment you put the most powerful hat in the universe on, the mouse works. It's like instant blow torch in your body. Ooh, baby. Oh. Oh, the long night ensues. Boy. All right, there we go. Ah, good night, everyone.